Hi everyone, this is Wynn Soldani. I hope you're having a great day. The cruising fleet just started here for the 2016 race to Mackinac, and I wanted to uh, do a quick overview of the tracker, which a lot of us are going to be using for the next few days. Um, you can get to the tracker by going to the Race to Mackinac website, click on Race Tracking, or, or clearly you can bookmark the, the URL that it takes you to if that's easier for you. While this is loading, uh, it's really the same interface uh, on a mobile device as it is on the laptop that I'm using right now. So real quick basics here. Um, you know, I know it's going to open with this default look, uh, really pretty Google Maps look of the entire race course. And you see there's boats all over the place here. That's only going to be crazier as we go on. So the first thing I like to do is I like to click over on the left hand side. I hope you can see my mouse uh, on the class filter. And what I will do is I just want to see cruising. So I'll uncheck everything else uh, which is my favorites in all racing and now I just have the cruising boats and now what I want to do is zoom in on them uh, I can zoom in on them by just kind of clicking letting the screen redraw and dragging um, there is a zoom to manual area button where you can click on that button and then sort of draw where you want to zoom to and it'll zoom to it um, there's a zoom slider so lots of ways to zoom right is the the answer to the question uh, once you get down to individual boats, you can see the tracks of the boats. Uh, later on today, Yellow Brick is actually going to eliminate these uh, lines, which are them going out to the start. Uh, that might be tomorrow, actually. Um, and if you look at the fleet here, you can see uh, the boats that have started are on their way. I'm just going to go ahead and pick a random boat here and mouse over them. If you put your mouse over it, you see that uh, the boat with the little crown means they're in the lead, quote unquote. It's sort of a, an estimate right now for their section. Uh, this is Patriot, a Tartan 34. They're going six knots, sailing a course of nine degrees, 9.42. Oh, I'm sorry, 9.42 degrees is the number. And we get to know lots about their uh, the owner and the boat and current position and all that fun stuff. Um, so you can click on more information a little bit lower if you want to, and that will um, uh, that will tell you who's on the boat and lots of fun stuff like that. So uh, here, let's just do that. Whoop! Doesn't want to do it. Do that for fun. And there we can see everything about the boat, the crew list, and so forth. So it's kind of, it's kind of. If you really want to drill into a boat, you really can, right? Um, so the other thing that we're going to do in the race a lot is this little slider at the bottom allows us to go backwards and forward in the race. So I'm just going to head and zoom out a little bit. So let the screen redraw. And once it redraws, you'll see this slider down here. Um, allows you to just kind of go backwards and forwards over time uh, and as you do that you can see the way that the race evolves so everyone is all crunched together at the starting line and they start to spread out a little bit as they uh, as we head up the course so um, that is re you know it's kind of kind of the basics of what's going on this updates very 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 regularly um, if you guys see any problems with it, please post on Facebook. I want to show you one more thing. I'll be using some other tools during the videos I record, but let me just show you one more thing, which is if you want, let's say uh, you want to find um, Endeavor, right? I know they're racing right now. I know I have them uh, because I'm within all cruising. I can just type the first few numbers of the, the first few letters of the name right here. And then I uh, click, uh, click over here and um, I'm sorry I click on the star right here is what I do and now that they're part they're part of my favorites so if I turn my favorites on I should uh, turn off all cruising see my favorite stayed on there so if you've got two or three or four boats that you want to track so I like like here's a here's a boat that I used to sail on tried and oh I have see I only have um the cruising fleet, fleet selected so I click on racing and tried and true shows up again I can just click the little star and they're not actually racing right now but they're saved to my favorites so anytime I want to look at individual certain individual boats I'm able to to get a hold of those individual boats if there's a particular boat or two or three or four that I want to follow so again uh, you um, click on the name click on the star they're added to your favorites and as long as you uh, don't delete your cookies it's all saved so those are the basics I hope that was helpful and um, I will be back shortly uh we should be getting a weather video shortly and uh more updates via video later today hope this was helpful thanks